It's really exciting to be here at the Queen's Gallery at the Palace of Holyrood House for the opening of this great exhibition of photographs, Cairo to Constantinople. One of the places that I've been to a few times in my life is Baalbek in Lebanon. And to visit the, the ancient Roman temples there is magical. It's, it's set in this, this plateau of the Bekaa Valley high in the, in the Lebanese mountains. It's a wonderful sight, both the ruins themselves and, and the landscape it overlooks. The first thing that strikes you is just how good Francis Bedford's photographs are. After 150 years, they still have an incredible sharpness that really takes you in into the landscape or into the wonder of these fantastic sites. Places like Luxor in Egypt and the temples at Karnak, I've been to see, and, and to see how Bedford captured the scale and, uh, and the aw awesomeness of these locations is, is, is fabulous. I think the public will be fascinated by these photographs, A, because they're so good, because so many people nowadays will have had the chance to visit some of the sites. Of course, the British public hadn't had the chance to do that 150 years ago, but many modern travellers will have visited these places on their holidays, the, the pyramids, Jerusalem, etc. But I think it's great now that they've come out uh, of the Royal Archives to be displayed again so that people can have that sense of context, both of, of the history of photography but also of the history of the region and, and the Britain's role in it. It's interesting standing surrounded by these, these fantastic photographs to think how much, I guess, technology, photography in particular, has, has allowed us to understand, to learn more about the region. I'm working on a, a series for BBC Radio 4 which will see me following in the footsteps um, of the Prince. Uh, it's 10, 15 minute programmes in which we'll visit some of the sites that the Prince and Bedford went to and see if we can find where Bedford stood to take his photographs and, and see how the immediate photograph, if you like, the immediate landscape has changed, if at all. I work very closely with the curator of the Royal Collection, Sophie Gordon. She's been a great help uh, and an inspiration, really, for us to work on the series, as she's herself put together with her team this exhibition. Following in the, in the Prince of Wales' footsteps for the Radio 4 series has been fascinating. The things you pick up on, on a tour like this in this middle-of-nowhere village, it's, it's a real privilege and it's great fun to be doing it.